Hello, today we're going to run you through the dashboard, activities, and reporting capabilities of Acronis CyberProtect. Today we are using our cloud console, but this capability remains the same whether you're using our cloud deployment or an on-premise deployment. Starting with the dashboard view, when you first log into the console, this is where you normally get landed. This is a completely customizable dashboard that you can change as you see fit for the information you want to have in your environment. In the default setup, we can see here we start with our cyber protection widget. This tells you data about how much is backed up today, has any malware been blocked or URLs, do we have vulnerabilities or patches that have, have, are ready to go. Now, every aspect of the dashboard is a widget. So that means that if I wanted, for example, my devices tab to be up here at the top, I can come up here and I can simply move the widget around. These are all also highly customizable. If I come into the pencil icon, I can change what the widget is named. If I wanted to pull specific protection statuses into it, device states, groupings, etc. Now, the capabilities of what you'll see inside of each option here is going to change depending on the widget type itself. So if I come down, for example, to my cyber protection widget, if I come underneath the pencil icon, I'm really not going to have many options because this is a pretty standardized widget that we offer. I can change the name and that's about it. Now, when there's columns, such as our devices tabs here, there is also the capability of choosing what columns you see. A gear icon here on the right will allow me to open this up. I can then choose, for example, what agent version, definitions update, do I want to know how many recovery points, how much total storage is being used, and I can simply add these as, as necessary. Now I can drag these around, move them as necessary. I can organize based off that. So for example, I can, I can sort, um, or I can go back and, and remove those pieces. Many widgets can be added to the page. So if I scroll down, for example, you can see we have a number of widgets here. If I wanted different widgets than what's already preloaded onto the page, I can simply come to the add widget icon up here at the right. This then gives you our list. We sort these into different categories, so activities, alerts, etc. But if I come through, I can say, hey, I want to get a widget on hardware details. Now it's going to add that, it's pulling in some information that I that I have here. Now I can come through, same kind of idea, change that. Maybe if I decided this isn't quite the, uh, the widget that I want, I can simply X that and clear it. Now the dashboard does stay the same for every user. So as I drag these things around, if another colleague was to, to log in, he's gonna see the exact same pieces as we see here. This also has a capability of doing a full screen mode. So here in the top left, there's this icon here. This will load a new tab. This strips the navigation elements away from the dashboard and allows you to say, put this up into a, say, a monitor in your office, for example. Now you can still move things, but you'll notice, you know, I don't have all the same gear icons that I would have necessarily. I don't have the add widgets. Now, as I mentioned, this is permanent for an entire environment. If I come down to my reports, this is where we can get into the highly customizable reports. Now, when we look at this, we're going to see a lot of these are going to be probably similar to what we were seeing in the dashboard view. So for example, underneath daily activities, I can kind of see cloud applications, network status. Um, I can come in here. These are our pre-canned reports that we have. So for example, our summary. Now, just like with the dashboard, I can come in and add widgets. Um, where it changes is I actually have the settings option here. The setting option allows me to say, hey, what do I want to name the report? What is my range on the report? Do I want to have this be scheduled? And do I want to email it out? So for example, I can come in here and say, let's schedule it, send it to my email, choose what format I want it to be in. So it's a PDF. Um, when do I want this to be scheduled? Do I want to send this monthly? What days of the month do I want it? So I could say, let's do it on the last day. Um, I can come in and say, hey, let's do it on the first, the 15th, and then the last. You can pick and choose what makes the most sense for you and at what time. Now that automates sending these reports. The other option that I have is I can come in and just hit download now. Same kind of ideas, do I want it as an Excel, a PDF, or individualized? So if I go to say a PDF, it'll generate that report. This can take a moment for it to generate, but in this case, right, we'll have a download start here in just a moment when the cloud is ready. So there we can see the summary report coming in. Other reports exist. So obviously, you know, these are the ones that we have predefined. If I come to the add report tab here, this allows me to, again, see what reports we have. So if I wanted, for example, to see the CyberFit score by machine. So that's going to give me a customized report for that. If I want to add specific reports, or maybe I didn't like this report and I didn't want it in my console any longer, I could hit the three dots and I can come in and say, hey, let's delete that report. That will then delete it from my list here. 
Now you can again build as many different reports as you want. We even have the capability if I come down to the bottom here to do a completely custom report. So if I, it's a clear report that you can figure yourself, but just like with our widgets, there's a large number of different reports that we have available in here. Now the reports themselves, they're all being pulled from different uh, areas within the console. A large area that they come from is our activities tab. This also is a good way of seeing what's happening in the environment. So for example, you can see we were discovering some data that's it pulling that, that hardware inventory that we were doing there. Now, just like with reporting, I have the capability where I can come through and say, hey, any status, an interaction required, canceled, failed, warning, succeeded. I can choose what type. So whether it be applying protection plans or deleting protection plans or protection plans running, right? Um, so if I choose, for example, protection plan here and I hit done on that, that'll filter it down to show me just the backups that are running. Now you can come in here and say, hey, I want to show all. And that's going to go back to that any type. I can also choose my sort order. Do I want to only see the last 24 hours, the last week, a custom period? Now, if I come in and select any of these, for example, um, if I look at the backup plan here for my mailbox backup or my 365 backup, this will then tell me who it was started by. So in this case, it was ran on a schedule. It'll tell me when it started, what the finish time was, 14 seconds in this case for that to run. Now, if I come down, you can see that it's breaking it out into the individual tasks that made up this protection plan running. So we have backup in this case and then cleaning up. If I select that, it'll actually tell me again, how long did that specific portion take? How long did that specific portion take? Now, if I go to a backup plan that maybe is more directly of a machine that has more steps to it. So here we can see the backup running. This, in this case, it's backing up a virtual machine. So it's creating a hypervisor consistent snapshot, collecting the virtual machine metadata, deleting the has. So it gives us more information about specifically what's happening inside of here. Now, if I come in and look up, you know, backing up specific areas, I'll be able to see in some cases how much data was actually collected, how much time it took to, to run that kind of information. Very easy to dig into, you know, the logs and activities inside of here. Very easy to navigate. You can also choose the refresh automatically, just like everywhere else in the console, the gear icon will appear here on the right and I can choose what, um, what columns I want to see. Same kind of idea as everything else. So I can also sort this by start time, right? So if we go back, you can see I've got some that are, that are a little bit older in here that are still kind of running. Or if I go to the most recent stuff, you can see what, what's happening there. So that's a quick overview of the dashboard, the reporting, and the activities functionality inside of Acronis Cyber Protect. I hope you have a great day. And if there's any questions, please reach out.